When some ponies think of dentistry, they think it's a luxury from back before the war. Now, don't get me wrong, back before the war things were a lot different. And usually the worst that would come out of skipping a trip to the dentist was a sore tooth the next time you ate too many sweets. Which would always come as a surprise to your mom because you told her it wasn't you who was taking the cookies from the jar. And then you got scolded in front of every pony at the dentist's office and then you got grounded and... Wait, I got sidetracked. I used to end up in the dentist office all the time, and usually all it meant for me was a reminder to brush my teeth more, and sometimes some painkillers while the pain went away. They also said not to eat too much sugar while you took them, but I never listened very well. Muffins were just too tempting. Here in the wasteland, though, it's way different. Losing a tooth might not seem like the difference between life and death, but it's more important than you think. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ditsy, you don't have that many teeth left. How come you're writing a chapter about dentistries? Well, being a ghoul and all, I don't have to worry about infection. Radiation kills off pretty much any bacteria that would try to hurt any of my remaining chompers. And I can tell you from experience, it's a lot harder to eat when you don't have much to eat with. There are plenty of challenges that you want to avoid. It's tough biting into a carrot, especially when there's always a chance that one of my teeth might get stuck into it. That's why I stick to muffins mostly. They're nice and soft and I could eat them forever. Teeth are important for chewing food. If you lose too many, you'll be stuck living off Sparkle Cola for the rest of your life. And I've heard that that not only rots your teeth, but can also rot other parts of you. So, unless you'd like to spend your final day slurping irradiated soda, I'd take care of your teeth before it's too late. Teeth are also useful as last minute defense. While you wouldn't want to bite most things that you come across in the wasteland, in fact, you probably don't want to be within throwing distance of some of them, biting can often be a last resort. You can chew through ropes that slavers used to tie you to a cage, or better yet, bite the slaver themselves before they can tie you up. You can use your teeth to rip cloth into bandages, or bear them at a rat hog trying to scare it away. I suppose you have to have really scary looking teeth for this to work, but I don't recommend it unless you have no other options. The teeth can save your life if you really stop and think about it, which I don't recommend doing for more than a moment or two, unless you have the time. You know, it's your life, I'm not the boss of you. <laughs> if you lose a tooth, you're also at risk for infection, which can kill you as easily as a bullet can. It just takes a little longer, and some say it hurts a little more. It's also pretty difficult to give a settlement that you've discovered a great big friendly smile if you don't have any teeth to smile with. How can you ensure that your teeth don't fall out of your head and leave you gumming at your canned carrot paste like a baby alligator with no teeth? Well, the easiest way is to brush your teeth every once in a while. Now, before the war, we would do it every day, but here in the wasteland, sometimes you just don't have time to sit down and clean your teeth before bed every night. Still, it's a good habit to get into, and can prevent an awful lot of pain. So here are some basics to brushing your teeth, wasteland style. Use a toothbrush if you can find one. There are those long skinny brushes with soft bristles at the end. If you can't find one, a paintbrush or something similar could work in a pinch. A paper towel or really clean cloth wrapped up can do good as well, as long as you wrap it up and use it gently. Just make sure that it's clean and you get everything off first. You don't want neon pink teeth from leftover paint after all. You should also use toothpaste if you happen upon any and it isn't too irradiated. Unless you're a ghoul, in which case, go right ahead. Sometimes you can find it in bathrooms and suitcases. If you can't find any, you can make your own with baking soda and peppermint if you have any. Water works as well as a last resort. Also, flossing is a pretty good idea. Take a clean bit of thread and thread it between your teeth, all the way to the gums. This can get out any leftover bits of food and keep you from having any stray chunks of goddess knows what in your smile. I was gonna wrap this up here, but I had to add a little section on what to do and, more importantly, what not to do if your tooth hurts. 
I feel silly having to write this out, but you wouldn't believe what some ponies have done trying to get rid of a toothache. So, what not to do if your tooth hurts? Don't, don't just yank it out. Don't yank it out with a string tied at the end of a brick. Seriously, don't. I've seen a stallion try to and get hit in the face with the brick as a result. All his effort turned in was a brick-shaped bruise on his muzzle. Don't try to pull it out by hoof. You could end up biting your hoof, and that only increases your chance of getting infected if you bite yourself in an open wound. And definitely don't smash your muzzle with a hammer. That doesn't fix anything. Just trust me on this one. What you should do is try to find a doctor. I know they have some in Friendship City, Ten Pony Tower, and New Appaloosa that can help. They can take a look at it and fix it up if they can. If they remove it, they'll do a better job because they have tools and experience. Or, at the very least, they're confident enough to pretend they have experience. Really, if you think about it, confidence is the first step to success in any field. I'm kidding, of course. Please find the closest thing to an actual doctor. If you can't find a doctor, use medics to numb the worst of the pain, then try to use a mirror and see what's the problem. If you haven't brushed your teeth in a long time, be prepared for a less than pleasant grin when you see your reflection. Remove the tooth if it looks like it's gotten infected, if it's black, bleeding excessively, or glowing bright green, that's a good sign that it isn't healthy. Then try to bandage it up with gauze or clean cloth. Take some more medics as needed to stave off infection. If anything, it can serve as a good reminder to take better care of your dental hygiene. You may not think about it often, but dental hygiene is just as important as other hygiene. And hygiene in the wasteland is very important, not only for keeping yourself healthy and moderately presentable, but also giving yourself a sense of cleanliness, and that can help a lot for your outlook. Dental hygiene is something that's often overlooked in the wasteland, but out of all of the different things you have to do each day, it doesn't exactly make the top 10 on your to-do list. Still, it's extremely important, and taking good care of your teeth will help guarantee that when you smile at a stranger in the wasteland, they'll always smile back. I know I always will.